if you hear a cuckoo sound during my video, I am so sorry. It's probably my neighbor's chicken. He had two ayam surama, very beautiful ones, that is currently running at the back of my house. So yeah, just ignore it. Hey guys, Assalamualaikum and I hope you have a great day today. So today's video is going to be about my mini haul on the Urban Decay products. So last month on Mother's Day, I got to have the chance to celebrate my Mother's Day at the Urban Decay store at this KLCC. So um, I went there with my mom and we had like a, a mini session for the makeup workshop. And after that, they had this uh, mini challenge so that my mom do my makeup. And luckily, my mom, she won the challenge and she receives some new, um, not really new, some uh, uh, deluxe products that she won. And after that, um, we, had, um, we went to the store and look around and my mom bought some things and I bought some things for myself too. So, let's see what's inside this bag. First of all, you've seen this, I wore this on my latest video. It's this Urban Decay Afterglow Blush. I bought it in the shade Bittersweet. It's a very nice purpley shade. I wear it on my cheek today. It's very powdery. I like this and it is everything that it claims to be 8 hour of wearing 8 hour I get the total out of 8 hour out in the sun in Malaysia so it's nice and with this bittersweet blush me and my mom bought this matte revolution lipstick in the shade bittersweet it's the same name so I'm wearing on my lips today by the way swatch it at the back of my hand so you guys can see the blush and the lipstick it's not really the same color but I think like we wear it together it'll be very nice it's some it's a matte lipstick but it's not it's very comfortable if I compare it to a MAC lipstick and Urban Decay matte revolution lipstick I think this lipstick is much more comfortable to wear rather than the MAC lipstick and I also bought the Urban Decay another lipstick matte the matte finish in Stark Naked the one that I use on my latest makeup tutorial I'm gonna switch it here it's a very nice warm nude shade okay my mom got herself like a starter kit for makeup so she bought this Urban Decay Brightening Primer for the face and she bought this Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. She is she's in the shade number 3. Well, this product is very nice. It's it's light coverage but I don't think it's light coverage at all. It's very liquidy. Show you. They have this thing like metal thing inside. Like you know when you use the corrector pens when you're in school. Like you have to shake it before you use it. And then like... It's very liquidy. You can see it slowly running through my... At the back of my hand. Very nice so if you're looking for a light coverage foundation I think this is the best one in the market currently we bought this Urban Decay vitamin infused complexion pep spray it's like a vitamin spray then use it before you wear your primer so that your face isn't really that dry and my mom she has this very dry skin and she said that when she used this and the primer before the foundation, she said that her skin doesn't really 
feels that dry during the day and her makeup doesn't really crack so if you really have dry skin then you should try this one so yes I got myself this um, not the full size but the mini size of the eyeshadow primer potion I never tried this one so I just bought the small ones it's 50 ringgit so I want to try it out whether it's really what is it about so it's it's the best eye primer out there because we bought uh, more than 250 ringgit so my mom received this um, deluxe size of this lip gloss in the shade uh, the shade candle so I'm going to swatch it on my hand here it's more pink than the Urban Decay Bittersweet lipstick the lip gloss is, I tried this once, it's very pigmented so if you don't really want to use lipstick underneath the lip gloss, you can just wear it alone. We got this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray in deluxe size, like you can use it, like I really wanted to buy the full size but I don't know whether it's worth it or not, so this goes a long way. And because we attended the makeup workshop, so each of us received this very small deluxe size Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I never tried it before. And my mom, because she won the makeup challenge, so she won this travel size set of uh, Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Eyeliner. So I have uh, five shades here, travel size. Inside it looks like this and let me swatch it for you guys what is it okay I don't know the color oh it's, it's written here I'm so sorry it's color muse uh, I'm sorry guys I'm terrible at swatching so this is the color muse it's like this warm brown tone this is the color Accuse. Ooh, nice color. It's blue shade. The color Delirious. I'll swatch it above the brown one. I wear it on my waterline today, the, the color Delirious. This shade. Mm, the color Zodiac. It's like this moss greenish bluish color I wonder whether you can tell okay. and this is the perversion I think it's their black black ones okay alright if I'm not mistaken they have two blacks on this um, light on pencil so I think this one is the matte ones the most the blackest the ones that they have that's all we bought during the mother Mother's Day um, makeup workshop so it's a mini review and uh, not review it's a mini haul on Urban Decay and so yeah um, let me know if you want any like in-depth review on this product thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you in my next one bye assalamualaikum